yeah. you were listening out the door. I was, yeah. Uh, I was going to backstab him and say, <laughs> no, no, he's a spy. We're going to take care of So, you know, after the fact, you guys are warriors, you're adventurers. It seems like only a magical weapon would have affected duty. So that, that, you know, that's probably the reason why the wounds kept closing up and healing themselves. So you're right there, Robin, you falling asleep, bro. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, what does the point say when we like, uh, you know, undo his, his, uh, or he's already out of the ropes, but you know, yeah, he's, I, I asked him how, how he was. He says he he feels uh, a little bit better, but he tells you that duty had he knew something was not right because he kept saying that he was the person that killed Sir Victor Greenthorn, you know the other half decomposed body that's in the chair. So, but he says he was pleading with this this you know spirits and. He just, and he thanks all of you. He says, I, I believe I would have been killed if, if you guys had not come and save me. And he, Backstab him. and he, and he, you know, and he, and he looks at the blade and he says, that blade has been in my family for nearly a hundred years. And he says, I would like to give you this sword as a gift for saving my life. He says, I, I feel that you, you all deserve this because I, I would be dead. So. I appreciate that. Are you Uh, choking back some tears now? Maybe it could go back to the, uh, the family of Greenthorn. If he has family, I guess. Uh, no, Greenthorn's dead. He's he was the warrior that fought off yeah, the invasions till he was overwhelmed. If he had any uh, family remaining, you know, should go to them. Yeah. I'm just saying that to yeah. look good. I say you, you could it. bury him. And everybody well. knows that Valus is going to take this, and if he can't use it, he's going to hawk it. So it's, <laughs> yeah. so just trying to look polite, you know? Yeah, as you guys are wrapping things up at the time. Are you guys doing anything? Are you guys going back into the library or are you guys going to take a look at that, that other, or remember there was that other piece of parchment that was pounded into the, the desk also, you guys. Didn't they yeah. come to life and have writing? There's also on? a couple of, a um, couple of rooms we haven't been through yet. So we'll definitely go through everything. Sure. Before we... Okay. So why don't everybody give me a, uh, a perception check if you have searching give me a bonus and this third handout that was on the the desk says if any survive we have killed so many these are lesion swine that i expect no mercy when the final assault comes i have done my duty for ferelden i hope my children can live in freedom and bless queen moria all for ferelden sir victor greenthorn so this is what he See, wrote just before he died. yeah yeah. So well, that, since that's we'll never be able to find him, I guess the sword bars. All right. So yeah. Uh, yes, Aldrich Lapointe. He has given all of you the sword, and as you guys are are wrapping up here in the tower, uh, let's see. Hey guys, I've got I've I've got to go. I've got a family thing. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no problem at all. Have a good one, man. You forgot to unlock the door. So on the on back. the way back, yeah, on the way back, um, he explains to you that the scholars of Orlais had done a lot of research on this sword, and he says it is it is a magical blood it is a magical longsword, and its name is called Bloodthorn, and what it does is it. It basically does 
speaking out of character here, it, it inflects and inflicts a one point of penetrating damage in addition to the normal damage on each hit. So, and it, it's basically a relic of the Greenthorn family, which is still there are descendants in Greenthorn. So, as you guys make your way back to Greenthorn, the t the tower is still there, so it doesn't it doesn't disappear, and you can see that there are villagers starting to trickle their way out of the forest because if they had started to run and flee when all of these creatures were, you know, these darkspawn were attacking. So, you know, you can see that people are starting to trickle back in. And as you guys get back to the queen's boots, Callie has a, a meal ready for you, drinks, and Aldrich Point goes up to his room and then comes back down and says, it appears that it appears that all of my personal belongings have been robbed. And Callie, Callie just looks and says, I, I've been in and out of the, out of the bar. I, I haven't seen if anybody's come in here. I haven't seen anyone come in here. So what, yeah, what do you guys, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to say that it was, uh, the guy that didn't make it today, Lance. <laughs> I'll say it's his character. <laughs> when I was here, you, you when I was here, Lance, I mean, not Lance, Lance, sorry, Lance sorry, sorry, sorry. You mean once and no, beats? Beats. Yeah, Gary. yeah, once and beats. <laughs> Gary, I'm going to say that it was once and beats, and that we saw him. He was taking a bunch of stuff just when we were leaving, but we thought so. And we're going to just—I'm going to describe him exactly what he looks like <laughs> to a T to this guy. <laughs> this is my friends. I I will put a bounty out on this. Out on this Steve's head, this this thug, this this bandit that you speak of. Yeah. Is this where we got that? Is this where we got that mace at? Yeah, yeah. this is the guy we stole shit from. And the, the ninety gold and the weapon, the rare the rare weapon rune that you guys had found and stuff. How the, much bounties he put it on there? Because it's almost worth bringing it back once it beats. <laughs> <laughs> Dead or this alive, a, right? My friends, uh, I am going to put a 100 gold bounty out on the head of this one some beats. All right. I think I think we're going to pick that up. We'll take care of it for you. <laughs> that will be fun as hell. So you guys basically eat, drink, and you know there's some festivities for the rest of the night. As you guys bed down and you head out the following morning and you meet Duncan at the Callanhad docks. And like I said, by, by morning time, you know, the bodies are starting to be cleaned up and, you know, there's more villagers around and whatnot. So a couple of the villagers has, has seen the magical sword and they ask, that is a relic of Greenthorn. Will you give the sword back that will bring good tides to our village? I'd say yeah. I'm thinking about it. So you get yeah, you guys you guys think about that because they asked you that the night before. So before you guys you know, you guys can give me an answer on that. Well, actually, I'll take the answer now. Do you guys, you guys want to give it back? <clears throat> we got to give it back, man. We got to give it back. So I think we we want to be honorable green, uh, gray 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 wardens, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Once a beats is labeled a thief. Now, oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. That that was perfect, Warm. I love that, and especially I love that for the future of the of the Dragon Age adventure too. So. So you guys, you know, there's a there's a ceremony the next morning before you guys ride off with uh, Aldrich Lapointe. You give the sword back to Greenthorn. You know, the the warden of the village, you know, thanks you so generously, and 
has given we're, the We're party. all Grey Wardens now, right, though? We're full-fledged. No, not yet. No, not yet. got to get us some points, though. I mean, we just unlocked an achievement, I think. He, he unlocked an achievement. Yes, a, a huge glow happens around all of your characters, and it says achievement unlocked. Uh, so the Warden of Greenthorn goes into the coffers and hands you a very fat sack of gold. 110 gold. Oh, to thank be exact. God. Thank, of and gold. Thank you, yes. Dave, for clarifying that. And he says, Thank you. This is for bringing Bloodthorn back to its home. And we hope that this gold will help you in your journeys ahead. And also, all of you are given a steed to ride as well from the stable. So now all of you have horses and saddlebags and, and all of that. So your traveling will be so much easier now. You know, you'll you'll travel so much faster. I'm gonna name my horse Blinks. Blinks? Yeah. Nice. I like that's a good name. So you guys climb on your new horses. You know, no no checks required for, for riding or anything, because you're not doing anything strenuous. You make it to the Callanhad docks and probably about the middle of the afternoon. And Duncan is not alone. Duncan is also with a contingent of other Grey Wardens. And he says, ah, right on time. He says, it's good to see all of you. He says, it's good to see you as well, Aldrich. And he, you know, they reach and shake hands and whatnot. And... After a couple, you know, minutes of, you know, saying hello and all this, Duncan says, now to the matter at hand. And by this time, a couple of griffins are landing in the open area at the dock. So, you know, dust and dirt's being kind of kicked up as they land. And he says, my friends, Aldrich and myself and the contingency, we have to travel to Denerim with and we need to make haste and we need to meet with King Callan. We we believe that this blight is going to happen and we need to start preparing with the king at once. So my friends, as we head to the capital of Denerim, I need you to travel east to the village of Ventiver. It is said that there have been demons that have been dwelling in the forest, the Br Brickillian forest to the east. So travel to Ventiver at once, my friends. You will need to seek out the village warden. His name is Tarl Dale. We need to get to the bottom of this, my friends. And that is... That is... Uh, so we all get on our horses, and then we ride off into the sunset. Huzzah! So let me let me let me ask you guys: as as Duncan mentions, they've got to make haste and get to the capital of Denerim. What do you guys think about that? Because he he mentions, hey, you know, we think I, the blight is say, really going to happen. Spiritual journey. Aren't they the demon slayers? So they're going to go party with the king, and they're going to go send us to kill the demon. They're sending you to Ventiver to check out uh, a possible ah. a possible demon that is dwelling in the forest, the Brickillian forest there to the east. And in fact, let me bring up the map of Ferelden for you guys. The name of the demon right. is what, Carl? What was it again? Yeah, his name is Carl. <clears throat> Way to the it east is now. here. Where I, where I have this pointer. You guys are now at the at the docks where I'm moving. So you oh, guys damn, are that's need a long to, trip. Yeah, but you guys have mounts now. So that's still, you can travel basically probably about two blocks a day, two grids a day. You can travel probably close to 30, 40 miles a day, depending on how you push it. So it will take you maybe, maybe like it would take days. you less than a week. Yeah, probably about a week-ish or so. These aren't the fire horses from Kroll? No, they don't have wings on them either, so yeah. But yes, uh, over here to the east, 
that's where you need to go. Uh, Ventiver. It's a small. It's a small. Basically, it, it's it's a v giant village that is surrounded by nothing but vineyards, and their their main product that that they you know produce is wine, a very Ooh. high quality wine that's shipped all throughout you know for all right, I'm, I'm ready to go the world. Yeah, I took the drinking feat um, when I leveled up. Did you? Nice. No, I was thinking about it though. How did you like the, you know, leveling up? You get quite a few advan. You get to do quite a few things every time you level. Yeah, which it's is, pretty cool. Yeah, which is really cool. I spent so more yeah, time she... leveling up my guy than it took us to finish the last adventure. Did you? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I had to like read everything, and the yeah. first time I, my first level guy, when I did the first level, I messed it up, so I didn't want to make that mistake. Yeah. I, I like I like it because you get to you get to raise ability scores every single level. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And you get to raise, you know, you get to choose more skills that you have focuses for, and you get to choose new talents. And you know, there's in Dragon Age there is a steady progression that your character has. I, I mean, it's uh, that's what I really like about you know. What I really like about it, and you can you can you know get more spells and you know all that other stuff. So, so you guys are off to Ventiver, and you tell you know you tell him about your spiritual vision that you had, and he says, and we make we must make haste, we must travel east to Denerim, and my friends, I, I wish you luck and. You are on your way to becoming a, a full-fledged Grey Warden. He says, I am very impressed with all of you. So that's where we're going to end this first leg of the Dragon Age campaign. And you guys are <clears throat> on your way to the village of Ventiver to the east. And we will come back to this, that's that's for sure. We'll keep an eye on very Walter cool. Beat for you. Yeah, that, that's cool. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually making notes of, you know... Wanted, want some beats. Okay, I, yeah. I love that. For we're gonna, we're gonna split the money four property. ways, I think. Four <laughs> ways, right? Are you? <clears throat> yeah, because all we'll of a sudden, Valus he disappeared. You know, Valus. I think Valus got mad for giving up the longsword because he was wanting to sell it. So, you know, once you guys persuaded him into giving Bloodthorn back to the village of Greenthorn. He just kind of disappeared. So, <laughs> so, so you guys have enough supplies. Uh, you're also given plenty of food, plenty of water uh, that you can, you know, put in your saddlebags and whatnot. And you guys are off to the village of Ventiver, and that's where we'll pick up when we pick up the the Dragon Age campaign again. So, thanks everybody for for playing. Totally appreciate it. <laughs>